Hey fellas, it's OTP again. I know it's been a while since I last posted a video. Honestly lads, I've been super sick and pretty busy for the last few months. And in the times that I've been able to get out, I've just been getting skunked. But here I have my waders. I figured I'd do a quick update video as I'm in the process of repairing them. These uh, neoprene Hodgman waders that I bought, I think it's, what, two years ago now? Unfortunately, and this is no fault of the waders, I really do want to stress that, especially for the people who, you know, are looking at these waders to purchase. It's not the waders' fault, but I did puncture them about a half dozen times. Um, for those of you who live in Northern Virginia, there's a spot called Four Mile Run. I'm sure you're very familiar with it. At that spot along the bank, there is a wire meshing that runs pretty much the whole length on both sides. So unfortunately the wire meshing does break from time to time and occasionally um, it will break and stick out, meaning there will be a very sharp piece of wire along the bank. Added to that is also the fact that the bank is very, very steep. So a lot of the time you're going down the bank on your butt um, to you know get into a good fishing position. So what happened to me is that you know I was out a few weeks ago and I was going down the bank as I typically do on my on my butt, taking it pretty slow and and you know thinking I was being pretty safe. And unfortunately, uh, I basically went straight over a bunch of very sharp pieces of wire that punctured the waders. Now it's worth noting I've already patched the waders. So you can kind of see where I've been patching these uh, holes up on the back of the waders. They're mostly on the back, although there is one or two on the knee section at the front. And despite the fact that it looks like I've been having a very, very, very good time with these waders, the stains that you can see on the back are actually not what they look like. Um, they're actually just silicon. Um, I had this just on my shelf over there with all my supplies, my DIY stuff. And I figured, you know, I've used it for the kayak, so, you know, why not give it a go? See if I could just patch up the holes on these waders. And it has worked out pretty well. Um, I have been out once uh, post-patch, so they did hold up pretty well. They were still leaking a little bit, unfortunately. So as you can see, I've come in again and I've put another glob of, of the silicon on. Um, but for now, I think it'll probably work out. So this silicon is pretty generic. You can buy it pretty much from any kind of, what do you call them? Hardware store, sorry. I always forget what you guys call things. It costs like three or four bucks. And it seems to work. Um, now obviously it looks ridiculous. I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> it does, as I said earlier, it does look like I've been having a pretty good time with them. So I'm actually considering maybe buying... Um, a spray can of paint. Now I did actually have, I did actually have like a, a, an acrylic primer uh, down here in the basement. It's, um, it's. I thought, well, well, I'll tell you what. What did, what do you guys think? Do you think that's pretty close? Because I did. And I thought, I really did think that it was a pretty close match. I just eyeballed it and thought, oh, that will work perfectly. Um, I don't know what you guys think. I can't really get it on camera well, but I think they were pretty close. But unfortunately, um, as you can see, this one right here, I try and I'm trying not to get the shadow over it, but that one right there was um, the patch that I tried to spray, and as you can see, it, it didn't really coat it very well, and it's really lighter than I thought it would be. You can't really tell on the camera, although you sort of can. But, uh, you know, looking at it, the, the, the paint is just, it's way too light in contrast with the waders. So, I'm going to have to probably look around for some paint. I'm probably going to go to the hardware store at some point soon and just see if I can find, um, you know, a spray can that more closely matches. But, you know, for a $5 solution, it's actually worked out pretty well. Now... I will say that it's partly my fault that they're still leaking because I frankly didn't find all of the holes. So when I was patching it up the first time, about two weeks ago, um, I obviously just didn't find all of the holes, which is why it was still leaking. For instance, if you come down here, I know it's kind of dark and you know I'm filming in the basement, so just you know apologies for that. But as you can see there, I had one just above the lip of the boot. 
which I've tried to patch now. So I'm hoping um, that that fixes it. Uh, I also had one down here on the knee that I might actually have to put more silicon on. But yeah, I mean, we it was pretty bad. I mean, you can see sort of how many holes we're dealing with here. There's at least, what, six, seven, eight, two on the front, there's 10. There's probably a dozen patches that I've had to make on these waders. Um, and again, not the waders' fault, it's just the conditions on four mile run with these incredibly sharp pieces of wire. Um, you know, they just went straight through it. But I do like these waders. They've served me pretty well. You know, two years, aside from making that mistake, they've held up extremely well. Um, just to give you an indication, I mean, kind of see that the sole is starting to go. Like the grip is not probably where it needs to be. So that is kind of a little disappointing. But just bear in mind, you know, I use these on a weekly basis, mostly in the winter. So I, I've put some hours in them. And, you know, bear in mind too, I've treated them like absolute crap. Um, you know, in the beginning, the first season, I didn't even use to wash them, whereas now I do. Um, so they have been beaten around a little bit. Um, you can kind of see as well, like the threading is starting, some of the threading is starting to come undone. Although I have burnt and cinched that, or tried to anyway. It's nothing that I can't live with. Although I do think that getting a new pair of waders is in the cards for um, this winter. So in about six months time, I might start looking at you know some of the Sims line or some of the Orvis line. So I'm sort of caught in two minds actually. What I might do, what I might do is I might get a brand new pair of these. Because they're about 50, I think I saw them on Amazon, they're like $50. And I bought them for 90 So maybe I'll just buy a new pair and just get rid of these. Um, that, or I'll go and get a pair of Sims or maybe some Orvis, but that's a lot of money, so maybe I'll have to think about it. But anyway, guys, I just thought I would uh, touch base with you. I know it's been a long time since I posted. Kind of give you an overview of what I've been doing with these waders. I have been fishing. It's not like I haven't been going out. I really have been going out almost every week. I've just been getting skunked. Um, like the last video I put up on the channel was kind of, I thought it was semi amusing. So I put it up, but that was kind of as entertaining as it's been for the last three months or so. But yeah, thought I would just give you a quick update. These are the waders. They look pretty good for now. Um, as I say, I'll probably try and find some paint to, uh, you know, cover up those, um, <laughs> cover up those patches cause they do look pretty silly. Anyway guys, I'm going to be going out uh, tomorrow. Today is, uh, what day is it today? Today is the 13th of April, so tomorrow is the 14th of Sunday. It's going to be raining a little bit, but I'm going to try and get out with the five weight and uh, see if I can get on the end of anything. I'm really trying to catch like a couple panfish just to sort of break the seal um, on the five weight, but you know, it's been, it's been a struggle, so I'm not really sure if I'll, if I'll be able to get on the end of anything tomorrow, but I'll give it a go. Uh, even though the conditions are not that great. But anyway, I'm rambling. It's been great. Uh, take care. Have a great day.